my channel welcome back to continental food and cake tv if it's your first time here you're highly welcome to this channel in today's video we are going to be making pizza pizza made at home this pizza tastes so yummy and delicious tastes better than the one in the shop so if you want to see how i make pizza and if you want to join me in making this pizza sit back and watch me while i make the pizza i'm going to show you how i make my pizza at home and if you're new here you've not subscribed please subscribe join the family join the continental food and cake family we are growing every day and we upload video every week and there's a space for everyone so join the family you're welcome <laughs> to make pizza you need flour and in here i have 1000 gram of self-rising flour in kilo is one kilo you can use plain flour but i'm using self-rising flour today and i'm going to be mixing it i'm trying to make a dough you need a dough when you're making pizza so that's the first step so in here i have the flour i'm going to form a wall in the center so i'm going to be adding some salt into the flour to give it taste about a teaspoon add it in extra virgin olive oil so i'm going to be adding about four spoon of that two three four to that i'm going to add vanilla flavor just to give it flavor this is optional well, just to give it that flavor next i'm going to be adding yeast and i'm using instant yeast the one that says fast rice and you don't need to prove your ease if your ease is in date just like this one 2022 so you don't need to prove it if it's in date so, and i'm going to be using one packet in and i'm going to add half of it so in total i'm using one and a half pack but if you're using plain flour in case you're using plain flour you need to use three packets of this one two an extra three that is if you're using plain flour remember that if you're using plain flour but today i'm using self rice so i don't need to add too much ease on it so i'm going to mix that in next i have warm water this is warm water room temperature not hot water room temperature as in you put your hand in it's just warm so i'm going to use it to mix the dough and in here i have about 300 ml so i'll just add little at a time i'll just mix the dough together and this dough is about 1000 gram if it's too much for you just do 500 gram i'm doing a lot of pizza so that's why i'm mixing about a thousand gram which is one kilo but you can divide it into two and all the ingredients that I'm using today is going to be on the description box. So please check that out. So that water was not enough. I had to get more water. So I'm adding more. Warm water, room temperature, please. You can do this with a stand mixer, but I prefer using my hand. But if you want to use a stand mixer, you can do that with the dough attachment. I prefer doing it with my hands. At least I have control over the dough. So, so I'm going to stop here. Next, I'm going to be kneading it in the table. You need to clean your table before doing that. Then sprinkle some flour on the work table. Then pour the mixture. Then I'll start kneading. This process of kneading might take around five to eight minutes. It requires energy, but trust me, <laughs> it's just, just imagine that you're doing exercise. <laughs> Trust me, when you make your pizza yourself, it tastes really nice. So you can see, the dough is coming together. That's what you need. You need to knead and knead and knead. So that's it. It's eight minutes now. The dough has come together. So how, it, how to know that your dough is good enough? You see, I can handle the dough and it's not sticking to my hand. That's the perfect texture that you're looking for. 
so next what we're going to do now i'm going to put it back in this bowl ignore the bowl it's a bit rough but don't worry about that so put it back there and i'm going to use the same olive oil this olive oil pour a little bit there just a little bit rub it around the dough just rub it around the dough so i'm going to cover this with the lid it has a lid but if you don't have a plastic that has a lid you need to use shrink wrap to cover your dough so next I've covered the dough with the lid, cover it really well, press it hard because you don't want air going in there. So the next step now is to keep the pizza dough in a warm place to rise. We need this dough to sit in a warm place where the temperature is warm so that it's going to rise and double in size. Around for five minutes to an hour, it's going to double in size and I will show you what it looks like. Then we can proceed to the next step of making the pizza next i'm going to make the pizza sauce and in here i have my pan heating up in a medium high so i'm going to add a little bit of olive oil about two tablespoons of olive oil and i'm going to pour in the tomato blend i blend my tomato with some onion and one paprika and this is the tomato that i blend one can of it and half onion and one paprika so i'm going to stir this in what I'm doing is I'm trying to fry the tomato sauce to take out some of the sourness because this tomato straight from the can is a bit sour and I don't like that sourness so it's best to just fry it a bit with a little bit of olive oil trust me it makes a difference you don't just want to blend it and use it straight in your pizza just this little step takes your pizza to another level so I'm going to be adding all the spices and in here I have mishap, half a teaspoon, garlic powder, half a teaspoon, ginger, half a teaspoon, curry powder, half a teaspoon. So I'm going to mix that in. Mix it really well. And I'm going to be adding some salt, just about half a teaspoon of salt as well. To give it taste next I'm going to be adding non chicken half of it so I'm adding it in but you can use any chicken seasoning that you have at home to give it taste so I'm going to leave it fried three to four minutes then I'll come back to it So it's been four minutes and this has been frying for four minutes let me taste it mmm tastes nice so I'm going to leave it to rest until it cools down completely while the dough is rising together mozzarella and mild cheddar so these are all the ingredients I'm going to use to do the toppings and in here I have yellow bell pepper green chopped onion I chopped this onion is one onion here and in here I have chicken breast that I wash cut and fry for 10 minutes I just fry it for 10 minutes with one tablespoon of olive oil because I don't want to use the fresh chicken for top uh, topping I like to fry it for us for 10 minutes before I use it so that's what you're seeing here the chicken breast and the next topping is the hot pepperoni. We bought this from the shop now. So we have, these are all the toppings that we're going to use to top the pizza. <laughs> so in here I have the dough. This is what the dough is looking like after an hour. Did you see that? The dough has doubled in size and I kept it in a warm place. So this is what it's looking like. So this is what you need. You need your dough to double in size. So the next thing I'm going to do with a clean hand, my hands are clean, I'm going to punch it, give it a punch. I'm going to sprinkle some flour, sprinkle some flowers, bring back the dough and just knead it for maybe 30 seconds. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to use a knife and divide it, cut through the dough. Did you see that? Look at that. So I'm going to cut it again. I 
I'm trying to get five pizza from this or four pizza. So I think this is okay now. Then I'm going to roll this out. Roll it out with a rolling pin. Roll it out. I'm using a rolling pin to do that. Roll, roll out. So this is the pan I'm going to use. I'm going to measure it and see if it's the same size. It's exactly the size. One of my hands, you see, I have one of my hand inside. You can stretch like that. So I'm going to put it here. It's, it's too stretchy now because I stretched it with my hand, but I'm going to bring it back to the size that I want. Did you see that? So I'm going to be brushing this dough with olive oil. Most especially the edge. Make sure you brush it with olive oil. Brush it with olive oil. You don't want it coming out dry, like dry. So I'm going to do that around the edge. Next, I have the tomato sauce that I made myself. So I'm going to scoop one spoon and spread it. You need to spread it really well. Two tablespoons will be fine. So the next thing will be the cheese. So I'm going to spray some cheese on top. But if you don't like cheese, you can just reduce the cheese, the amount of cheese you want to spray on top. But if you're making pizza, you need cheese. That's why it's called pizza. <laughs> and so, so the next thing is the pepperoni hot. Put some here. Just be creative with this. <laughs> it's kind of decoration. Decorate it with it. And that's one there. So that's fine. I'm going to stop there. And some chicken. So that's one pizza ready. This is going to the oven and I've preheat my oven in 160 degree. And I'm going to be baking this pizza until it turns golden brown. So this is going to the oven. So while that is baking, I'm going to be working on the second pizza. Because with this dough, I'm going to be getting about four or five pizza. So if this um, recipe is too big for you, divide the, the flour, the flour that I'm using into two. As in, instead of doing 1,000 gram, you do 500 gram. That will give you like two pizza. Then I'm going to stretch it like I stretched it before using this technique of stretching it but don't stretch it too much you don't want to over stretch it so i have the second pan here i'm still going to do the same thing that i did before this you can be creative with it you can just come here and fold fold that's like giving it a different design did you see what i'm doing some people like it like that just be creative with it do whatever you like but i'm just showing you what you can do with it i'm just tucking it in just to give it design did you see that So you see we have a beautiful design that we've created here so you can just be creative with it just do whatever you want to do with it so i'm still going to brush it with olive oil brush most especially the edge the edge of the pizza make sure you brush it with olive oil you don't want it coming out dry same thing we did before i'm going to scoop two tablespoons of the tomato sauce and spread it around did you see so we're stopping here that's why you need to brush the edges with olive oil it helps keep that moisture so i'm going to spray the cheese 
and the cheese that I'm using today is mozzarella and cheddar but you can use only mozzarella depending on the one you want and also you can reduce the amount of cheese you're, you're adding in your pizza just feel free and all the ingredients I'm using today is going to be on the description box so please check that out check the description box one in the middle yes chicken putting some of the yellow pepper yellow pepper did you see that and green as well so this one is going to be very colorful with some onion this is the second pizza ready to go to the oven but i'm going to wait for the other one to bake before i put this one in the oven and this is the remaining dough i still have some dough left so i'm going to be doing this off the camera this will give me about three pizza i'm going to show you when i am done with all the pizza so it's been 20 minutes now i'm going to see how the pizza is doing and look at that beautiful so i'm going to take it out this has been baking for 20 minutes this is the first pizza and this is what it's looking like so i'm going to keep it aside then put the next pizza which is the second one is going into the oven and i'm going to bake it until it turns golden brown so the second pizza is being in the oven i'm going to check on it look at that it's turned golden brown this is the second pizza coming out then i'm going to put the third pizza third one is going in And you can see I'm placing the pizza in the middle of the, sh the oven, the shell, the middle. Make sure the pizza is in the middle. I'm going to close it and allow it to bake until golden brown. I'm going to repeat this process with all the pizza. When I'm done, I will show you the final result. Here are all the pizza. I've baked all the pizza and in total, I got five pizza in total. And look at the pizza. Look at this pizza. It's looking very yummy. <laughs> That's the one with the sweet pepper. And this is the pepperoni. Oh my God. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Try this and it tastes yummy. Let me know if you're going to be trying it in the comment section. As I said before, check the description box. You're going to find all the ingredients that I used there and the measurement. I just cut some of the pizza and this is what is looking like this pizza tastes yummy so please try this if you're new here and you've not subscribed please subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload you not miss it join the continental food and cake family you'll be highly highly welcome thank you so much for watching my video to the old subscribers thank you so much to the new subscriber thank you so so much thank you for coming back i love you oh i love you all so much and i will see you in another one bye bye